among those open-wheel Formula cars F1, F2 and F3 cars do not need to consider the driver's heat dissipation problem since the open cockpit can bring sufficient airflow. For Indy cars, because it has a relatively closed cockpit, ventilation duct pipes are added to the driver's helmet to dissipate heat. As for Gran Turismo cars, since they are not particularly sensitive to weight, they can be equipped with air conditioning systems. Compared with the cool suit system, the biggest advantage of the air conditioning system is its convenience for the driver to get on and off the car. And that is very important for drivers when they are involved in endurance races for the need of midway substitutions. In fact, most of the racing cars were modified without air conditioning systems. It is because, first, the heat emitted from the air conditioning will reduce the heat dissipation efficiency of the car's water tank. Second, the air conditioning compressor will cause a load on the engine crankshaft, which will then affect the output of racing power. Now let's take a look at the air conditioning system inside a racing car. The first thing to notice is that the installation position of the racing car's AC system is completely different from that of a civilian car, which is placed in the co-pilot of the vehicle. More importantly, the air conditioning of civilian cars sends you cool air from its outlet. In contrast, a racing car's air conditioning system sends cool air into the outlet, also to the seat and helmet. You may try to guess how much the system costs, and we'll tell you at the end of this video. In fact, the entire air conditioning system is very small and is installed in the co-pilot's position. The intake air of the entire air conditioning system is actually hidden here, and it is transported to this machine through the pipeline here. The air conditioning system is made entirely of carbon fiber. That is because we try to subtract every gram of weight from the car. So, even for the air conditioning system, it is made of pure carbon fiber, and you may find that after the entire air conditioning system takes an air from here, there are many separate pipelines. First of all, cool air from the thickest pipe is sent to the air outlet of the air conditioning, which helps to directly dissipate heat for the driver. And you can also find that there are two relatively thin pink pipes here. These two pipes connect the air conditioning to the driver's seat and helmet for ventilation. Therefore, even if it's very hot outside, you can still enjoy a comfortable space while driving, which allows the driver to have better concentration and performance. The entire air conditioning system is also divided into different pipelines transporting to different locations. The thickest one is, of course, the outlet of the air conditioning. The one in the middle is to deliver cool air to the driver for heat dissipation. At the same time, there will be a pipe here, which aims to dissipate heat through the helmet. In addition, there is another pipe that will deliver the cool air to the seat. Although there is only a small hole, it is enough to cool the seat since the power of the air conditioning is extremely high. This air conditioning system has been optimized for racing conditions. As for performance cars, in order to ensure the continuous power output, the AC compressor is not involved when the car is in full throttle. And the air conditioning system here uses an electric drive, which can ensure the continuity of cooling. What's more, the system also specially adjusts the output of the voltage in order to reduce the pressure on the racing voltage. That is all about the racing air conditioning system that I want to share with you today. It is very different from the civilian car, yet the cooling effect is very outstanding, and even the AC level can be adjusted. So how much does such a system cost? The answer is around $25,000. That's all for today's episode. If you want to learn more about the technology of racing cars, let us know in the comments section. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.